everyone, so today I'm here with Ask Kirsten number 23. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've done an Ask Kirsten, but it's only been like a month and a half, a month, but I still love doing these videos. These are my Q&A type videos or advice videos, depending on what types of questions I get. So I love doing them. I love being able to kind of interact with you guys through kind of video form, really. So if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Any sort of advice situations you would like advice on, leave it in the comments below, and I will try to answer every single one in my next one, but I'm on Ask Kirsten number two right now, and I'm going to go ahead and answer pretty much every question that I can. Isra M says, what are you majoring in? I am getting my bachelor's in healthcare administration. Emily Kelleher, Kelleher, I'm sorry if I say anyone's name wrong. Uh, she has two questions. She says, you seem, the first one is, you seem like a very organized person. Any good organizing tips for the less organized people? I am... I think I'm organized in my own sense. Like, if someone were to come into, like, what I would classify as, like, an organized space of mine, they probably would be like, what is this jumbled mess? But I kind of know where everything is because it's organized the way I, I know. Um, but I've been trying to be a little bit more organized. So, um, using, like, file folders, like a filing cabinet, a drawer system. Um, I try to kind of do labeling, things like that. Um, so... I highly recommend starting off with like labeling things and then putting things where they need to go and that's kind of really it because I'm not the best at you know organizing according to like some people's standards but um, I try to just kind of label things and put them where you know I know they're gonna be that probably is a really terrible answer but that's kind of how I could explain it and then her second question says do you think you'd ever want to start your own business of some kind I have always wanted to start my own business. I have watched Shark Tank for years, and I, I think it's such a good idea, and I think it's, you know, it's living the American dream, it's having your own business, you know, working from home and working out of your home, really. But, um, I don't know, I've never really had any good ideas, as far as I think, and I, I mean, I would love to, you know, I'd love to be able to work from home and make all my money from home and not have to ever leave the house and not have to ever have to deal with anything, but it's definitely, I've seen it firsthand that it's very stressful. So I don't know, I think eventually down the line I would like to, but that's something that I would have to come up with a really good idea for. Allison C says, what tattoo do you plan to get next or at least hope to get next? And this has three thumbs up. I, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to get any more tattoos. It's definitely, I don't know, I haven't gotten one in a couple years and I haven't really thought about any in a while. I definitely want to get one for Avery and I believe that's when I'm going to start like my half sleeve. And I want to get another quote on me, but... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I don't really like to share what I plan on getting because then if I end up changing my mind, then it's just kind of like, that was come out of nowhere really. But um, I do have ideas, it just depends really. SC plus KC asked a question that has seven thumbs up. It says this might be a TMI question, you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. And it says, have you and Brian been able to find time for intimate time between the two of you after having Avery? Um, yeah, we, we have. <laughs> Sabrina Johannes, this, she asked a question that has five thumbs up, excuse me. She says, are you still going to sell Sensi now that you are working for Andrea? I have for a while, not... Before Andrea ever asked me to work for her, I had been debating selling Sensi. I was doing really, really well at first and I was really enjoying it, but that in itself is its own, like time you know like it takes a lot of time to sell that if you actually want your business to grow being a direct sales consultant you actually have to put time and effort into it it is a real job if you want to make money so when I asked, was asked to work here at Scribble Prints, this, you know, is a real job. This takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. So I really had to choose between the two. So before even coming here, I was like, you know what, I I'm okay. I'm still currently selling it, but I do believe this might be my last month because it goes on um, the way Sensi works. It goes on like a three-month schedule. You have to make a certain amount one month out of three months and since I haven't really been you know pushing my business or promoting it or doing really anything I haven't gotten the sales that it you know requires so I am no longer going to be a Sensi sales consultant but that doesn't mean that I you know just didn't like it anymore and didn't want to sell anymore I still love Sensi I still use it I still you know swear by the brand I think it's fantastic but I'm just not I just don't have the time really to sell it anymore and to put you know everything into it because like I said it is its own job so um, no I probably will not be selling Sensi anymore unfortunately Unfortunately. Beauty by Nini says, would you ever try an Erin Condren planner in the future just to see if you would like it or do you have your heart set on plum paper planners? So I do have the new 18 month rose gold Erin Condren planner. Andrea was so sweet enough to get it for me. I am not going to be using it though. 
right now because I know it starts in July. I'm actually going to wait until January of next year. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the six months that's in it. I'll figure something out. But I am going to try Erin Condren next year. It is beautiful. I do already think I like it just a little bit more than Plum Paper Planner. So I did enjoy my plum while I had it. It was my first, you know, real big decorative planner. But I'm really excited to kind of dip my toes into the Erin Condren world. Stephanie Emma says, what will you do differently with Avery compared to how your parents raised you? Um... I'm sure there's going to be different things that I do down the road. Like, I'm sure there's going to be situations where, like, my parents would have done one thing and I, I'll do another. But I can't specifically say, well, I don't like how my parents raised me or did this and I, you know, I want to do something different. Because I truly think my parents raised me very well. I, I mean, I'm not trying to, like, toot my own horn or anything, but I do think I'm very respectful. I'm very kind, you know. I always say yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. Like, I'm, I always say thank you, please, excuse me, like, stuff like that. Like, I'm very respectful. I try not to, you know, get on anyone's toes. And I try to be nice really to everyone and my parents raised me to be that way. They raised me to be nice to everybody because you don't know anyone's like situations or anything. So I definitely think that's how I want to raise Avery. Like I want, you know, obviously I want her to be respectful and I want her to be disciplined and I just, I want her to be not exactly how I am, but very similar to Brian and I because we're both kind of the same in the same sense. So I don't know, there's probably going to come situations down the road when she's a teenager or something and she does something that I did and I do something completely different than how my parents disciplined me, but uh, we'll see when that time comes really. Uh, Scout Loomis says, has Brian or you ever been jealous and if so, how do you handle it? I'm sure we've been like jealous more so in like the beginning of our relationship. I'm sure there's been times because, you know, we started dating when we were, we were in high school. So I'm sure there's been times where like he was talking to a girl in the hallway and I got jealous or I was talking to a guy in the hallway and he got jealous. I'm sure there's been times like that. It's never been like that recently. I don't think I have been jealous in a very, very long time. I've been territorial. Like I've been very territorial of my family and like of Brian and my Avery. Like I'm very territorial and so is he. But um, I've never been like, oh, I wish I had that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm very, very happy. And I know he is as well. But probably when we were, like, teenagers and at the beginning of our relationship. Oh, I feel like this question gets asked, like, every Ask Kirsten in almost every video nowadays. But someone asked how old Brian and I are. Brian just turned 21 in June, and I will be 21 in December. So I'm 20 and he's 21. Caitlin Cloud says, when you are stressed, what do you do to calm down and not be so stressed out? Oh, I can't even tell you how stressed out I've been lately. I'm like always stressed out. But um, to really relax, which is hard for me, it, it takes a lot for me to really relax. I've lately been taking like baths, like really nice bubble baths. And I know this sounds like dangerous, but like falling asleep in the bathtub, not like, you know, underwater, but definitely like sleeping up against the edge, um, taking a nap, honestly, like just kind of being asleep or being like curled into a ball in like a quiet place is really what helps de-stress me. But it doesn't really work fully because I'm still like stressed. There's so much going on in my life right now that I feel just so stressed. <laughs> and the next question kind of goes into that. It's from Chanel Bling and it says, how do you balance work and school plus having a home to manage? This would mean a lot on you answering. Hashtag proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of me too. Uh, no, I, I do balance quite a bit. It's definitely been a bit of a difference now having like a full-time job having a baby, having to go to full-time school, it's very, very challenging. Um, it's its really, honestly, all about time management. It's all, its literally all it is. It's all about managing your time well. And this is where, like, having a planner comes into play because that's how I manage my time, really. Like, yeah, I decorate it all pretty and stuff, but I, it really helps me to manage my time and to break up my day because I really do try to do a lot and that's why my YouTube videos have been so pre-filmed lately because I whenever I have time like I try and bust them out so that way I don't have to worry about them but it's very hard I try you know I work from a certain amount of time in the morning to the afternoon so I'll try and tell you my day it'll be a little bit easier so I go to the gym in the morning I've been going to the gym for the past month now I go in I leave the house at like 8 come back at 9 shower eat breakfast go to work get off work, eat dinner, do schoolwork, spend as much time with Avery as I possibly can, and go to bed. Like, that's literally my days. And on my days off, I still go to the gym, I still do schoolwork, I still play with Avery, I try to film as many videos as possible, and it's very, very stressful, especially the classes I'm taking right now are very demanding, and work is demanding, and I'm not complaining one bit, because I actually don't mind it 
but you know it definitely stresses me out so it's all about time management it's all about you know making sure you know what you're doing and when and planning like I'm telling you planning is key like it works out so well um, Fabo, this has six thumbs up, says, how was living with Andrea and her boyfriend? It was actually really fun. We, all four of us are very, like, social yet unsocial people. We all have kind of the same personalities, which is really, really nice. So when we were all feeling social, we would, like, hang out with each other, go out to eat, hang out upstairs, have, like, game nights and stuff like that. But then, like, at the end of the day, we would all kind of, like, go to our own spaces and do our own things and I think that is what made it really really nice because I feel like if like Brian and I or Andrea and Nick were like very demanding of us or like we were demanding of them it wouldn't work like if we wanted to be with each other all the time it definitely wouldn't work out so being adults and like having our own space uh, together was nice but it, I'm definitely excited we are well as you're watching this we're preparing to move into our apartment so a couple videos from now you'll definitely see us in our apartment and me filming in our apartment but living with them for a month was really really fun and I guess I am going to kind of miss it a little it was kind of fun to live with your friend but I am happy to have my own space again. Danielle Langley says what do you do for Andrea I know you can't reveal trade secrets but do you help with designing new stickers making stickers new ideas for the company packaging orders etc. Yeah, um, actually that's pretty much it. You got it right on the head. Um, I don't design new stickers. Andrea does all the designing. She's like the creative, amazing one in the group. Like she's got that, you know, I'm, I will let her do that. I've came up with like one idea and I, it wasn't that great. But um, so what I did the first couple of weeks that I was here was package freebies and trim the stickers after they come out of the silhouette, which is what cuts them and makes them like a sticker, like a peelable sticker. So I would trim them down and put them in piles and give them to her and package up freebies. Lately, since we are closed and trying to go into more of like a ready to ship shop, which means we're trying to print, mass print as much as we can, I was helping filling orders and getting everything ready to be sent out. I do the monthly boxes, which is very, very hard because it's up to 300 now, which is a lot for three people to work on, to be honest. But I do help package those, cut those. Um, I packaged all 150 last month, so if you got one, I packaged it for you. Um, I did that, I do freebies, I, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of like odds and ends, like just lots of work really that needs to be done and whatever I can help out with, I help out with. Like for one, like one day, for example, I literally folded cardstock for like two hours just so it was like ready to package with orders. I know that sounds like nothing, but it's, it's a lot and it, a lot goes into this business and she, I mean, Andrea knows what she's doing. She does really, really good work, and I mean, if you buy from Scribble Prints, you know everything's like top notch. So it's really cool working here. Noel Back says, "What is your favorite part about Texas so far, and what is your favorite restaurant?" Um, I like Texas. I think Texas is nice. It reminds me a lot of California, just a little bit, as in like the city life. Um, especially downtown Austin reminds me a lot of Santa Ana, just a teensy bit. Um, but I do really like Texas. I think it's nice. Um, one thing I don't like is that the drivers here don't know how to use their turn signals, which I think that's kind of like everywhere, but it's a little bit more prominent here, I think. It kind of scares me when we go driving places, but I do really like it. I definitely have to be here a lot more. I've only been here, you know, like a month and a half, and I do like it when I have ventured out, when I've had time, really, to venture out. And I'm not sure if you mean my favorite restaurant in general or my favorite restaurant in Texas. I'll say the favorite restaurant we've gone to so far in Texas would probably be Salt Lake Barbecue really good everything tastes like smoky and delicious and we went there for Brian's 21st birthday so he had a beer and stuff but it was just it was really nice it was like delicious and I really liked it I've been there a couple times the Luna Kitty asked a question that has two thumbs up it says are you still feeling comfortable with your body after giving birth I know that some people aren't um right now I'm almost comfortable and I know that sounds really weird I'm I don't know how to explain it like you know, there's lots of like jiggly parts of your body and things that are very, very different after giving birth. And I know it's different for everybody. I haven't completely lost all the baby weight, but I'm not trying to. I'm happy with where I'm at. Um, that's kind of why I've been going to the gym is to really tone up my body again. Because even before being pregnant, I wasn't 100% happy with where I was and what I was looking like. So I am now going to the gym really to just kind of get where I want to be. So I'm getting there. Um, it's going to take me a little bit of time. There's still some things that you know, I'm a little insecure about, 
But I like to try to remain positive about my body as long as I'm body positive. You know, I feel like a lot of people should be body positive. I know it's hard, but um, so far I am body positive. I just want to get there just a little bit further and then I think I'll be fully confident. But Whitney Stars 123 says, how do you deal with being homesick when you first moved out? It is so tough. I'm still homesick. I'm going to be honest. Like I definitely still miss my family a lot. Like I'm about to call my mom after this video because I haven't talked to her in a couple weeks and like I just miss talking to my mom a lot. Like we're very close. It's It takes a really long time. I've been moved out what like two and a half, two and a half years now. And it's tough. I mean, I really don't think it ever goes away, the homesickness. You definitely just have to kind of find a way to deal with it. Um, but Skype and FaceTime, those help. Let me be real. Headlining C says, if somehow your mother didn't want you to go to California and had said no, would you have stayed in Virginia or go to California since you were 18? I have thought about this for a long time, and I think if my mom would have said no, I definitely would have came back. I would have been miserable. I would have been really upset and not happy, and it probably wouldn't have been a good time, but I would have still gone back. If my mom would have been like, no, come home, I would have gone home. Uh, Janelle R says, hey Kirsten, where do you study and what do you study? Also, do you have a career goal in mind, or are you happy with the way things are now? So I said I was majoring in healthcare administration and I go to an online college. I go to Kaplan. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's been really good to me. Um, I do have a career goal in mind. Of course, I do want to work in the healthcare industry, but I, you know, want to wait till I get my degree, which is going to be, what, three and a half years from now. So I do have quite a bit of time. So right now I'm happy with where I'm at and we'll see how things are when I get my degree, if things are going really, really well. Um, Maybe I won't pursue anything in healthcare, but the goal at the end of the day is to still try and pursue something in healthcare. I want to work in a hospital. Uh, Kasia Gon Goncher, I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong. She says, do you guys plan to put Avery in preschool at four or wait until she is five? It depends on... I think the school gets to choose. It depends on their birthdays. I know there's like a cutoff date because my birthday was in December and I think I had to go with kids that were younger than me because of the cutoff date, or maybe it's changed now, I mean it's gotta change now, it's been 20, 21 years, but, but I, I mean if she can go at 4, if the cutoff date is not before that, definitely we'll let her go at 4, but if the cutoff date is before that, we'll have to let her go at 5, but yes, we do plan to put her in preschool. And then the last question is from Amber Hinton. She says, I can't believe I asked if y'all were moving out of North Carolina and I was right. Uh, yeah, we didn't even think we were going to move out of North Carolina for a while. We wanted to stay in North Carolina but go somewhere else. But um, she says, I live near Crabtree Mall, which is in Raleigh, but I've always wanted to move. We actually were thinking about moving to Raleigh too. She says, so I was wondering if it has worked out living in Texas. Well, yeah, it's, I mean, it's worked out so far. We've been here a month and it's been pretty nice. I mean, we haven't really left our area. We've left a few times, but like I said, I've been working non-stop so when we have like when we do get chances like or when I have days off I really just want to like stay home or like go to the pool and like not do anything uh, so when we have ventured out I have enjoyed it I have enjoyed everything I mean we live in Austin there's so much to do so I have enjoyed it uh, so far and I don't know if we'll be here for the rest of our lives definitely for a couple of years um, we need to figure this out soon though before Avery starts school which I know is in four to five years but I kind of want to figure it out before that happens but Austin maybe or not Austin, but Texas may be um, a place that we stay for a while, actually. Maybe our whole lives. We'll see. So that is it for Ask Kirsten number 23, I believe. I think I said at the beginning, but I cannot remember now. I think it's 23. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to me if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.